What is good everyone? Welcome to Project Beats. My name is Jovin and today we're doing another Flash Beats episode. This time I'd like to talk about controlled rebound. Check this out. I would say that this is quite an advanced technique. For me, a good starting point is to have you double stroke down. Also, it's good to know buzz roll as a foundation. Or you can just jump right into it. It's up to you. I would say this technique is quite similar to a molar technique, just with a more compact motion. As with a lot of drum techniques, you need time and patience. It's all about muscle memory and it's a very repetitive process to learn this technique. And it can get boring at times. So, patience is key. I personally haven't perfected it. I'm still working on it. But let me share with you how I understand it. Okay, just to break down the process. The first couple of strokes is done with a, with a push. Similar to how you do your buzz roll. Your fingers are helping a little bit, but it's more just to control the rebound to get the precise subdivision of the notes according to the given time. So you can think of it as a more loose buzz roll and with a catch at the end. So. I tend to have a better control when doing an American grip. If you don't know, German is all the way flat. French grip is sideways like this, and American is the hybrid between the two. So I tend to have a better control of the rebound when, do, when in this position, and then when you do the catch, I switch to German. So It's up to you how you do your buzz roll. If you're com comfortable doing your buzz roll uh, with the French grip, then use that. There may be some ways that are effective for you, so you, you can experiment. Let's try it with a metronome. This is 100 beats per minute. We're gonna do one and a two. I know this is still very slow, but your goal is to be able to get up to speed. Let's say 130, let's try. Usually, Rickson and Baguettes use this on the hi-hat, which is a bit more challenging because doing rebound on the hi-hat is not exactly as easy as doing it on the, on the drum head. So it takes practice. That's the first one. Two notes for the control rebound and then a catch at the end or accent at the end. The next one is the, the triplet. This is where it gets a little bit more interesting. For the triplets, the subdivision is like this one. Okay, but you have to do that one hand. We can try it faster. Okay, and the challenging part is doing four notes, four control rebound before, before the catch. So we're gonna try it slower. That's 80, we're gonna try maybe 100. Obviously, I still need to work on it, but this could be a lot of fun uh, doing it on the hi-hat, on the ride. Uh, and you can use this technique anywhere on the drums, really, but you can have a lot of fun doing this uh, technique. Play with it, experiment with it, practice, um, try it. Both hands, right hand, left hand, uh, and all sorts of different combinations. It's, it's up to you to be creative. Okay, that's it. it from me. And for those of you who are interested in learning from me, keep an eye out. More info soon. Like if you like this video. Also hit the bell so you get notified when new videos are out. Alright, see you in the next project.